In the last two videos, we talked about permissions in SharePoint. It's really important now when you're looking at permissions in SharePoint that you understand the concept of permissions inheritance. Now what you see here is I'm at my home site. So the address is sp2013trainingvid.sharepoint.com. All this other stuff just shows me the, the page address. Now this is the top level site or root site. Now permission inheritance essentially means that all subsites that are created below this will inherit permissions from this top level site. As you can see here, the parent site, these are all the child subsites and they inherit permissions from the top level site and any subsites of subsites will inherit permissions from the, their parent, not from the top level site. And I'll show you what I mean here. So if I go to site settings and site permissions, this is on the home site and everything looks fine, looks normal. But if I go to my team site, this team site is now a subsite of the home site. And I go to site permissions. I see that I have two warning messages here. The first warning message says some content on this site has different permissions from what you see here. So it's basically saying some content on this site is not inheriting these permissions. If I click show these items, it tells me here that I have a micro feed and that it has different permissions here and I can view the exceptions if I want to. What it also tells me is that this website inherits permissions from its parent. So that if I change the permissions here, I'm actually changing the permissions at the top level site. So if I say grant permissions, it says here they'll also get access to the home site and other sites to share permissions with it. That sounds reasonable enough. But if I want this site to have unique permissions, what I want to do is I want to click stop inheriting permissions here. It'll give me a warning, making sure that I know what I'm doing. Press OK. And what it'll ask me here is it'll ask me to create three groups, one for members, visitors, and owners. These are the standard groups that SharePoint likes to use for its sites. Now, if you want your site to have unique permissions, you don't really want to use these existing groups because your home site has these groups already. So you're really just granting the same permissions. So I'll, if, what you really want to do is create a new group. Let's call it my new team site visitors. That's fine. So create a new group for each set of permissions. Press OK. Go back to site permissions now. Now what you see here is that the new groups exist in my site. It says that this website has unique permissions. That's great. But the groups, members, owners, and visitors that were originally had permissions to the site still have permissions. And that's something to be aware of when you are breaking inheritance. This can be good or bad depending on what it is that you're trying to do. So if you don't want these groups to, be, to have permissions here, you just click on the group and click remove user permissions. If you decide that you want to start inheriting permissions again, just go up here and press delete unique permissions. It'll say, are you sure you want to do that? You press OK. What's important to remember here, though, is that we've deleted the unique permissions. But if I go to site settings, people and groups, the groups that were created when I created my unique permissions are still here. 